Howdy, first grade experts and authors. Welcome. So today, in this video, we are simply going to um, go from the planning phase of our process for writing a well-organized four-sentence paragraph to the drafting phase. So, drafting is just your first rough draft sloppy copy. Our goal is just to get our ideas down in sentence form. It doesn't have to be beautiful. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't even have to be that good yet. We'll make it outstanding when we get to revising. So, the goal here is to do as much as we can uh, without it being difficult and without us freezing. Okay? So, one of the keys to writing, just like reading, is to not do the freeze. To keep going. Alright. So, um... Hopefully you printed out this page, which is our planning. This is our rough draft template. And you've got your uh, plan from yesterday. So yesterday you decided on a topic that you're really interested in, that you know uh, a, at least a little bit about and that you can teach the rest of the world. That's why you're the expert. You're the enthusiast. Something that I said I think I know quite a bit about because I've been doing it for many years is raising monarch butterflies. So that's going to be my main idea, my topic sentence. And then my three um, detail sentences are all going to be about my main idea topic sentence. And I thought <clears throat> that the first uh, detail would be that if you're going to raise monarch butterflies, you got to find or grow your own milkweed. My second detail is you got to have some containers to keep your caterpillars in once you find them or your eggs. And then my third detail is um, after you keep the caterpillars for about 10 days, they'll turn into chrysalises. And then in, after 10 more days, they'll become a butterfly. So these key words here are helping me remember what my plan was. So now that I've got my plan, I'm ready to start my draft, and this is what you're going to do. The first step is to write your name and number on the name line. The second step is to write your topic sentence, or your main idea. So I'm looking at my plan, Raising Monarch Butterflies. Okay, so that's my general idea. What I want to say is Raising Monarch Butterflies is fun and easy. Okay, so I'm going to write that. I'm going to turn those key ideas. I'm going to add a few more um, words to make it a complete sentence. I'm going to add is fun and easy. Okay, so that's not too hard. Racing. And I'm not going to worry about spelling. We don't want spelling to slow us down right now. We'll let spelling, we'll focus on spelling when we get to editing. Right now our goal is to get our ideas and our sentences on paper. Raising monarch butter flies is fun Hold on, I'm having pencil problems. I'm gonna have to get a different pencil. Just a second. Okay, sorry about that, but that's part of being an author. You gotta have extra pencils ready. Is fun and easy. All right, there's my topic sentence. Now, my three details have to all be about raising monarch butterflies being fun and easy. Okay, so now my first detail is that you have to find or grow milkweed. 
Okay. So finding growing milkweed is an important step, right? So I'm going to say um, uh, well, I could say first because it's kind of like the first step. And remember, if you do use the word first, you have to have a comma after it. First, but you don't have to use the first in yours. It depends on if you're telling things in an order, like you're telling the steps, but it depends on what your detail is. For me, I'm going to say first. So first, um, you should grow or find some milkweed <coughs> plants. Okay, good. That's my first detail sentence. All right, and we're only going to do four sentences, so I'm already halfway done. All right, detail sentence number two. Need a container to keep caterpillars. Okay. Um, so... You also need containers to keep the Monarchs in. Okay, good. All right. Oh, I said to keep caterpillars. I said monarchs. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about whether I say caterpillars in or monarchs in. I'm just gonna get the idea on paper and I'm gonna move on. Okay. On Monday, we will worry about the word choice and we're gonna work on making those sentences more powerful and make more sense. For today, we're just turning these ideas into sentences. So we said, um, it takes 10 days, up to 10 days for a caterpillar to form into a chrysalis and another 10 days then for the butterfly to come out of the chrysalis. So, Um, I think what I'm going to say is after ten days, the caterpillar. will become a chrysalis and then in 10 more days it becomes a butter fly okay all right so this is my just my rough draft it's very rough we're going to change it a lot on monday 
But what I want you to see is I'm not spending a lot of time making this perfect. I know this is not, this has a lot of work to go. But we're just taking it one step at a time and we're putting one foot in front of the other and soon we'll be walking out the door just like in the Christmas movie. So slow and steady. So here's my uh, detail set, my topic sentence, raising monarch butterflies is fun and easy. Detail number one, first you should grow or find some milkweed plants. Detail number two, you also need containers to keep the monarchs in. Detail number three, after 10 days, the caterpillar will become a chrysalis. And then in 10 more days, it becomes a butterfly. All right. After you write your one uh, topic sentence and your three detail sentence, the only thing you need to do is make sure that all three of your details tell about your topic sentence. As long as that happens, then you're going to have a well-organized paragraph. And after you write your four sentences, you're going to let your um, hand and your brain take a nap, let your stories take a rest. We'll pull them back out on Monday in order to revise, which is the, it's the um, next step. And it's the one where you're going to use all the things you've learned about how to make powerful sentences. Okay. So, when you're done with the four um, rough, sloppy copy sentences, please have somebody at home take a picture just of this rough, sloppy copy page. Send it to me by Sunday night or early Monday morning. Okay, thanks a lot, authors. I can't wait to see your sloppy copies. As they say in Norway, Takskal duha. Takskal duha.